guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare... You ready? So here we go. The weight and the height gives way the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, tags it with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Counters with the straight right. Punch coming, it's blocked. Straight right hand now, just misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Straight right hand, no good. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, young man. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. there by the Korean Super Bowl. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Big body kick lands. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming. But until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Nice punch there. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab. 
jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. Double leg. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Misses again with a right punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Missed with that attempt. So, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Powerful leg kick land. Just out of range with that strike. Got the single collar tie. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Beautiful punch. Final seconds here. Wow. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, round two. Oh, that's a nice strike. Blocks the shot. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch to the clinch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Just misses with the straight right. Nice leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, man, head kick lands. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, back to the inside leg kick. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Big kick land. Oh, nice shot by him there to get the takedown. I would think that gets the Olympians' stamp of approval. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What a fantastic job of getting the takedown when you need it. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice kick. Just missed with that right hand. There's no give on that leg kick. 
All right, single collar tie now. Nice. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Back and forth we go here. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, that's a good right hand. Gets the elbow up into the target. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, blocks the shot. And continues with the inside leg kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Throws the right hand there. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. And he landed the right hand there. Whiffs on the elbow. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. Third round underway. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. A complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice loop punch. Countering with the jab here, but a nice job blocking it by Choi. Just misses there with the left. Single-collar tie now. Just missed with the left there. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Look at him chopping the wood. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. And they separate. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Chor. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. 
Choi gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. He's starting to really bruise now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Punch over the top. Punch is blocked. A oh, little single collar tie there. Right hand punch the clinch. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Ooh, what a punch. to avoid the left. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice punch, Lance. Visibly limping here. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice job of hiding that head kick. It. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the celebration is on. With